22 days. Yeah, we, we prepared around. I was writing the songs around September until November of 2016. And then by December, we went to Malaysia for the location hunt. And then we prepared around January. By February, we were shooting. And we finished the shoot around the first day of March. Was it rehearsal or...? Uh, in some scenes, yeah, because of the songs. So now, you know, they need to be in the same tune, in harmony. And, uh, of course, the, the beat, you know, the movement. So there's, there are rehearsals, of course. And I gave, I gave them the songs, you know, prior, you know, days before. So that they can, they, they can learn it. Tune and the, the, beat. the lines, of course. Yes. And uh, in uh, your directing, do you let people improvise or is mostly well, a script written? I I'm very strict with the script, okay. but at the same time, I allow improvisation just as long as they don't go overboard. You know, it's like it has to be. You know, you have to know what you're doing. Otherwise, the conversation will destroy the whole thing. Yeah. The conversation must be some kind. There's some kind of control as well. You allow them, but they shouldn't go out of their character. They shouldn't, you know, go out of the the, the sense of the lines. You know, it's important that they know the lines. There are two main uh, person personages in the film: yeah. mm. the doctor and uh, her wife. I'm just curious to know more if they were based on a real people the, or... Uh, all, uh, all, all the characters that you see in the film, they're based on... It's a composite of so many characters during the martial period. Mm -hmm. They are real persons, you know, I just mix them. Even the events are real. Yeah. And their story is uh, very well known in the uh, mm -hmm. Philippines. Yeah. So well, well, we have dementia, national <laughs> dementia. So. Okay. Uh, a lot of people forget Marshall now, only us who keeps examining it. The academia, of course, and experts on uh, history. But most young people now, they don't know that much. That's why there is the sense of urgency to really examine that period okay. again. Because uh, we, we, we've forgotten it. It's just a, a few years back. Mars Yellow was uh, 1971 up to 1986. It's a very dark period. But if you ask the young people now in the country, they, they know that there's Mars Yellow, but they, they don't know what happened. And they're, they're, not, they're not really interested. That's, that's the worst part of it. They're not interested to know. There's no interest, there's no urgency to them. So it's, it's important that you know, we use all the mediums for that. The reason behind uh, this uh, apolitical attitude uh, was there based on well, the economy? The, the apathy, it comes from everything. Yeah. Failure of academia, failure of education. Okay. And at the same time, you have the, the digital world now where everything is coming so fast and you get bits of information from everywhere and you tend to, you tend to know everything. Okay. That's, that's, this is the culture of the young people now. They pretend to know a lot, but there's just a bit bits and pieces from, picked up from the internet. Mm -hmm. okay. There's no thorough or earnest study of a particular subject or a particular you know, perspective. There's none of that now. Only, only a few can do you know, thorough, thorough studies of you know, certain subjects. Okay, so you see this as something that happened mostly because of uh, contemporary... Yeah. Society and the infrastructure of well, it's, it's, not, it's not just contemporary society, but it's a failure of so many systems. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, if you talk about Trump, okay. you have, you're talking about the United States of America who has to, well, the greatest institutions in education, like Harvard, Columbia, Stanford. MIT. But how come we have Trump? It's a failure of the academia. They're so holed up in their spaces and they forgot about educating the masses. They're not engaged. They engage amongst themselves. In the forum, the greater forum outside, they forgot. And you have Trump. It's a failure of the system. It's a failure of institutions. Now it's a realization that there must be an engagement outside, more engagement. 
just the same with cinema, the same with music, the same with all the arts. We must engage more to be part of, of this uh, culture of destroying ignorance. We need to be part of it. Yeah. Okay. And when you talk about, for example, the failure of institution, university or intellectuals, mm -hmm. was there such tradition before um, in Philippines? Uh, was there, for example, intellectuals who led people or who made yeah, them? Yeah, we have great institutions in Canada, but it's the same. The same. There's a continuum. There's a big failure in the country of institutions. We have to tell them mm -hmm. how come that we, how come that we elect uh, you know, a demagogue, a populist, mm -hmm. a fascist for that matter. It's a failure of all these institutions, even the church. Goes down to it. everything, Thank all you. the sectors of society. There's a big, 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 you know, debacle, so to speak, a big cultural debacle. Mm -hmm. And we need to make some in that. We need to reorient ourselves why we fail. And then, there you go. There's an urgency because of that. It's the 21st century, and okay. we fail. How can we? How can we reverse the failure, the debacle? Now we have all this you know, barbarism everywhere because there's a big failure. So we need to do it with an urgency. The engagement must be urgent. With your previous words, it seems to me that the story is more a straightforward. It's very, very to, straightforward. It's easier yeah, yeah, to grasp yeah. or understand. I'm just. Curious. It's the nearest uh, that I get to doing propaganda, <laughs> almost. You know. But I, you know, I still. I, I needed to do a narrative, I needed to do some aesthetic perspective so that it will not be that straightforward propaganda, a forthright thing. Yeah. <laughs>